Take a look at this. A speeding jet boat crashes through a fence over the weekend during a race in Lynn County. Welcome to Quinn 6 News at noon. I'm Jenny Hansen. That crash happened in front of an estimated 3,000 fans just south of Albany. Brent Weisberg is live with more on what went wrong. New at noon, Brent. Jenny, good afternoon. Some of the witnesses who saw this crash, they think that the driver might have gotten confused on course. The track itself was built by hand about six years ago, and tonight one of the event organizers say they know they got lucky. We pulled over seven G's on some of the corners. On a perfect day for jet boat racing. When he hit that bank as fast as he did, I mean, I was yelling for people to get away from the fence. Things go horribly wrong. Get out of the way! Get out of the way! Get out of the way! The voice you're hearing is track announcer Bill London. I knew that he was going to hit the fence. I did not know he was going to go through it. The jet boat driven by Canadian driver Bill Florco, going almost 60 miles per hour, shoots out of the water and heads right towards the pit area. Feet from the grandstands. We've never had a boat come that fast at the fence. Kyle Patrick owns the racetrack. The fence is supposed to catch a boat. Seconds after the crash, spectators rush over fearing the worst. You can hear Bill's voice on the loudspeaker. Everybody stay back. Let the safety crew get in. Fortunately, nobody got hurt. And... The worst injury from all of this the driver dislocated several fingers. It could have been a lot worse, and those who love this sport say there is no other feeling like traveling so fast in water three feet deep. It's a lot more fun to watch in person than it is uh, on YouTube, that's for sure. Now, event organizers also tell me that these crashes are not uncommon. In fact, there were several over the weekend. This, however, the most serious because the boat did go through the fence. Some of the event organizers also tell me today that they are going to plan on adding more safety barriers for their next race. Reporting live, I'm Brent Weisberg, Quinn 6 News.